Welcome to Startup Health Now, the weekly web show that celebrates the health transformers and change makers reimagining health. My name is Unity Stokes, and today we have a very special guest, Beth Sanders, who's the founder and CEO of Life Bio. It is the duty of leaders to lead, of the creative to create, of the daring to do. The free world expects leadership of us. Its fate and our fate depends upon our leadership. We are industrious, inventive, restless with the fires that burn within us. But I say that nothing is easy, and the best things are the hardest. And all our troubles, all our immense difficulties, now and in the future, can I say, be solved if we have the will, the courage, so we are here with Beth Sanders, the co-founder and CEO of Life Bio. How are you? I'm great. So let's start with an easy one. Uh, okay. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about the mission, most importantly, of, of Life Bio. Life Bio is capturing life stories in healthcare. So we want to be sure every person has a chance to share their story. Uh, it helps them to share their story. It helps clinicians to deeply know them. Helps the family know their loved one too. So we're capturing life stories in healthcare. It's interesting because so much of of healthcare is around data and numbers and sort of black and white details. Mm -hmm. um, give us a little color. So what what does that mean? We all know about the electronic medical record or health record. Um, right. Where does the story fit into that? Well, in the EMR, there's usually this field where a little bio or profile could be, but most of the time it's empty. And really, clinicians operate without data in that field a lot. They know the physical health issues and the, the stats on this person, but they, they may have no real background on that person and you know, where have they been in their life. So uh, tell me about your hometown. You know, where did you grow up? Were you in uh, the military? What was your military service like? Uh, a background on their work experience, where they went to school. You know, all these things have colored this person's life and we have people operating in the healthcare system without the background story and when they don't have that, they lose the ability to have a really strong relationship with that person. So yeah, you need to know more than their, their weight or the disease they have, or, or you really need to understand who they are as a person. Right. You're going to get better out outcomes if you know them more holistically. Uh, we think that the movement is to body, mind, and spirit, not so, you know, body's important, but mind and spirit really matter too. So tell us about the solution here and, and who uses it. Is this something um, the doctor uses, the health systems use, the insurance companies? Who's your customer? Who uses this? 80% of our customers are providers or payers. So that's senior living providers, um, health systems, payers like United Healthcare, hospice agencies like VTAS, uh, those are our clients and they are licensed, uh, purchasing a license agreement to use LifeBio with their patients, clients, residents. So, so, so we have a magic wand. What does the future look like for, uh, for LifeBio uh, in a perfect world? What does the future look like um, if mm -hmm. every patient has their story uh, tied into their medical record? Well, it's a, a beautiful world where they will be known and they will feel like they are not a number, they're not just um, a health condition, that they're, they're seen more holistically by clinicians. But for them, we find that they are, they're lonely and this is a, a way to connect with any of their loved ones. So we're going to see better health outcomes because people are less lonely and they have higher feelings of purpose and meaning. And by moving the needle on purpose and loneliness, we're going to imp improve people's overall health. Because again, it's not just all about body. We are people. We are holistic people. And we don't like it mm. when we're just treated like a patient. What have been some of the, the biggest challenges as an entrepreneur that you faced in, in building LifeBio? Well, I think the biggest challenge that we faced is it's, it's a little tough when you've got a new idea. 
something that uh, hasn't been done in this wide scale uh, way in this area of life stories and healthcare, right? So we have some barriers to overcome where people go, oh, wow, you know, why, why didn't we think of that, right? We should do that. Uh, we, the other barrier is like, uh, we've had angel funding, but we haven't uh, maybe had as much outside funding as we wished for. Sometimes that's a good thing, by the way, right? Yes, and so we've learned to be very good at bootstrapping. You know, whenever we need to, uh, we, we can operate uh, very effectively and efficiently. So a lesson learned is don't wait for the outside money you think is going to come right around the corner because it could take it a while. And in the meantime, whatever resources you have, go forward. Right, you, it may things may take a little bit longer than you expect, but we've been able to find a hundred clients in thirty states. Right, That's fantastic. with very. And you're, you're headquartered right here in Ohio, correct? Right, we're in Columbus, Ohio area. Has that? What have, mm -hmm. what have been the pros and the cons of that? One of our our investors, yeah. Steve Case, talks about the rise of the rest. And uh, what I think uh, we're starting to see is a lot of great entrepreneurs, a lot of great startups emerge from all these wonderful places around the U.S. and around the world. Um, mm -hmm. what, are, what are those pros and cons of being uh, in Columbus uh, with, with your startup? I think the pros are that we have an incredibly talented workforce and we can have these resources uh, for less than um, we would be able to get them in other cities, okay? So it's, a, uh, it's an affordable place to live and work. With and great so talent, sounds with like. With great talent, very strong talent. You know, we've got the Ohio State University, we've got, uh, you know, a million and a half people in the Columbus area, very high tech area, top 10 tech city in the US. So uh, I can see why, you know, the East and West Coast are really strong too, but I, uh, you know, I have very affordable rent, very affordable people. Again, I can operate. So you're inviting uh, all the entrepreneurs uh, <laughs> to come come down to Columbus and, and yeah. uh, start up there? Yeah, uh, right. What, what advice would you share, biggest lessons learned for other entrepreneurs, health transformers that are just getting started today? You're gonna need a lot of strength to make it through the tough stuff. I don't know where you're gonna pull that from, but you've gotta just completely believe in your idea and go for it and there's a reason you've done it and you've got to keep that in mind and not let anybody tell you that it's not going to work i mean because that you can hear that all the time where you do know? you pull your strength from well um you know i i, I could say op, uh, life by operates in a wing and a prayer <laughs> 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 you know what prayer's okay yeah. you know if you have an idea and you want you know the, uh, the grand scheme of things is you want to, um, you know, you got to tell people what you want, put it out there, uh, keep that vision alive, and, and then find incredible people. Uh, it's just incredible staff that completely believes in Life Bio too. So building an a team that is committed to that idea, sees the vision, in our case, millions of people who would never have told their story are gonna tell their story with Life Bio. How cool is that? That's a big deal. It's big. So last question here, yeah. what, what do you do personally to stay healthy, to keep your mind healthy? Mm -hmm. How do you, any tips yeah. and things to pass on to other people? Well, I um, love to do Tabata hit in my kitchen. <laughs> So if I can't, you know, it's late at night, I work too late, now I'm, I'm doing Tabata in the kitchen or I'm biking on the weekends, so I All love right. to bike. Okay. Long distance uh, endurance road bike, buy one of those bikes. If you bike 20, 30, 50 miles, you'll forget. And that, I mean, then that's another tip is you just gotta let it go. Uh, on the weekends or whenever, you can't always be working because you're really not f fresh. We say that to every one of our health transformers. Take the weekend off as much as you can because you yeah. need to rejuvenate and come back uh, fresh mm -hmm. to be able to, to survive the journey and accelerate through the journey. For, for sure, yes. And take care of your family. They right. need you. And don't right. cheat yourself out of the relationships with your family either because uh, it's hard on all of you mm -hmm. and they need you, your focus, and don't cheat them and don't cheat yourself out of those relationships. Fantastic. Where should people go to learn about LifeBio? 
uh, lifebio.com, L-I-F-E-B-I-O.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, Beth. It's uh, great to be with you here and great to have you as a health transformer. Thank you. And thank you for Startup Health. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.